Dear friends, welcome in ESC TV here in Barcelona talking about partnership in prevention. And I'm happy to be here with you. I'm Dan Gaeta from Romania, and I'm here with my very close friend, with Professor Larry Sperling from Atlanta, to discuss about this topic. Welcome, Larry. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Uh, this has been a long past three years. In fact, the last time we saw each other was at ESC in Paris three years ago. Uh, it's been a long three years, as you know, and it is so wonderful to be back together again uh, as partners in prevention, but back together again as global friends and uh, really members of each other's global family. You know, really, Dan, one of the things that, that I think we need to be um, discussing today is that even in the midst of this global pandemic, cardiovascular disease remains the number one cause of death in the world. and so partnership and prevention is critically important. You are perfectly right. So let's start the discussion about why it's so important to have this partnership because yes, we are speaking about global pandemic. You are from US, from Atlanta, you are a professor of cardiology there and you are in Emory, I am in Europe. How to put things together? Why is it so important to have this common voice? Yeah, the common voice is critically important, and that common voice needs to start at the level of the community. Uh, within communities, we need to build strengths together related to cardiovascular risk factors, understanding that a good number of cardiovascular events, and the data suggests between 80 and 90% of cardiovascular events are preventable. And so this starts at the level of the community, but the partnership needs to build across countries, Romania, the U.S. Uh, we have many countries represented here at the ESC, but the partnership needs to build at a global level. Both of us have been involved in serving the World Heart Federation and uh, you know, across the world, uh, the way we need to address this number one cause of death uh, is building strength, building togetherness, and building partnerships. Yes, you are perfectly right, because we started to tell louder about common facts. We try to inform correctly. We try to make people aware. We try to facilitate the access to the healthy option. Prevention is more than dealing only with heart attack and strokes. It's more than reduce the impact of, uh, of high risk. It's more also about population strategies. And you have that Million Heart Initiative Tell me more about that. Yeah, certainly. So um, in addition to being a professor at Emory University School of Medicine, a professor in our School of Public Health and Global Health, uh, I've had the honor as serving as the executive director of a national initiative in the United States. It's called the Million Hearts Initiative. We uh, have partnered between the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services. Uh, and this partnership started 10 years ago across all 50 states in the U.S. We have several hundred partners, federal and private. And the mission of Million Hearts is that we have proven and effective strategies if we can implement them at a high level to prevent a million heart attack strokes and cardiovascular events in our nation over a five-year cycle. And, and we have the same possibilities in other countries all across the world. That's why it's like to share all these ideas and to help each other to implement the successful strategy, as, as you said already. On the other hand, it's, um, it's about how we are putting the light on, uh, of lifestyle means. How, how important it is to, to stop smoking or not to start to smoke, how to do exercise, how to eat healthy, how to have a regular check. What's your opinion about that? How to, how to make a step and to make the difference in this direction? Yes, yeah, certainly uh, we call this building healthy communities. And here we need to realize that we can't leave this up to just individuals. It's helping individuals and families and communities making the healthy choice the easy choice. But we need to invest in prevention because if we invest in prevention, the return on that investment becomes great. 
uh, and we see healthier populations, healthier people uh, who can contribute more to um, our society. And it's also how to become ourselves models, how to put ourselves in practice, how we started together, to run together, to have all over the world, all these things, to not only to, to preach, but also to, to, to do ourselves and, and, and all this part is important. Yeah, very much. Uh, partnership and prevention is, uh, we certainly need to be role models uh, and uh, demonstrate prevention uh, each day. We are here in Barcelona. It's uh, vivid, everything is full of life. So we are back in the game. So ESC is building the magic here and we are celebrating the seventh ESC Congress. What's your impression? How you are feeling all these things? Yeah, 70 years of the ESC Congress, that's really something to celebrate. Uh, the theme of the meeting is the magic in cardiology. And, and this, you and I together today, uh, back together again, a partnership and prevention. This is the magic happening in Barcelona. Um, I am extremely excited, and we talked about this earlier, about uh, the investment in our environment. One of the themes of this meeting is, is being green uh, and that we as cardiovascular specialists need to be stewards of our environment because the environment, the air we breathe, the environments we live in can affect our cardiovascular health and uh, we need to be champions of this. Yes, right, because it's not only uh, about how to be aware or how to inform to be a volunteer in this direction, to, to do, uh, to do uh, together all this part. And it's more than carbon footprint and all this part. It's how to make cleaner around, so how, how to live better and longer. Yes, absolutely. Um, another theme of the meeting I know is, is the importance of a global community. And it is really wonderful to have the global community back here in Barcelona for ESC. Uh, I know we're looking forward to seeing our friends and our colleagues, uh, but we're also looking forward to the exciting science and innovation uh, and the new platforms of how we learn and how we share and, and how we engage the younger generations too in the future of cardiovascular disease prevention. So we in ESC try to put everything together. It's, it's about the national societies. We, are, we have members from Iceland to Kazakhstan north of Africa, we have partners all over the world. So it's, it's a forum here, it's a discussion, it's science, it's action, it's feeling, it's touching, it's regaining that enthusiasm we had in the past. Absolutely. Well, Dan, it is really incredible to be with you here in person in Barcelona at the ESC meeting. Uh, not only are we partners in prevention, uh, we are partners in life. It is wonderful to see you. So great to be here. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And we are happy to share all these things with you. ESC is here. Welcome in Barcelona again.